countries with more than one president. President in government, the officer in whom the chief executive power of a nation is vested. The president of a republic is the head of state. But the actual power of the president varies from country to country. In the United States, Africa and Latin America, the presidential office is charged with great powers and responsibilities, but the office is relatively weak and largely ceremonial in Europe and in many countries where the prime minister or premier functions as the chief executive officer. The office of president is also used in government in South and Central America, Africa and elsewhere. Much of the time, these chief executives functioned in the democratic tradition as duly elected public officials. Throughout much of the 20th century, however, some elected presidents under the pretense of emergency continued in office beyond the constitutional terms. In other cases, military officers seized control of a government and afterwards sought legitimacy by assuming the office of president. Still, other presidents were virtual puppets of armed forces or of powerful economic interests that put them in office. During the 1980s and 90s, many countries in this region underwent a transition to democracy which subsequently enhanced the legitimacy of the presidency in their governments. In most of these countries, the constitutionally defined powers of the office are similar to those of the President of the United States. If you are new here, welcome. Please do watch, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't get to miss out on any of our subsequent videos. For most countries, the question who is really the President would be an odd one, reason being that these countries have more than one officer in whom the chief executive power of the nation is vested. Here is a list of countries with more than one president as at the time of recording this video. Number 1. San Marino, Captain's Regent San Marino is a mountainous microstate surrounded by north-central Italy. Among the world's oldest republics, it retains much of its historic architecture. On the slopes of Monte Titano sits the capital, also called San Marino, known for its medieval walled old town and narrow cobblestone streets. The three towers, castle-like citadels dating to the 11th century, sit atop Titano's neighboring peaks. San Marino is quite special because its head of state is called Capitani Regenti or Captain Regent in English, and there is not just one but two Captains Regents. This is a rare instance of a country having two leaders instead of just one, and derives from the custom of the ancient Roman Republic, which was ruled by two consuls. In fact, the Captains Regents were originally called consuls when their roles were founded in the 13th century. The names and roles of the titles change gradually over time. Today, the role of the captain's regent is mainly symbolic. The captain's regent must be from San Marino and are elected every six months. They are changed every 1 April and 1st October. They can be captain regent for more than once, but not within the space of three years. In 1972, women were allowed to become captain regent. Since then, through this unique system, San Marino has technically had more female heads of states than any other country, 17 in total so far. San Marino was originally led by the Arengo, initially formed from the heads of each family. In the 13th century, power was driven and given to the Grand and General Council. In 1243, the first two captains regents were nominated by the council. Still today, captains regents are elected every six months by the council. San Marino is considered to have the latest written governing documents still in effect as the status of 1600 are still at the core of its constitutional framework. Number 2. Andorra Co-Princes Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. It is known for its ski resort and a tax haven status that encourages duty-free shopping. Capital Andorra La Vela has boutiques and jewelers on Mex Trillers Avenue and several shopping centers. The old quarter Bari Antique houses Romanesque Santa Coloma Church with a circular bell tower. The politics of Andorra takes place in a framework of parliamentary representative democracy whereby the head of government is the chief executive and of a pluriform multi-party system. Like San Marino, the tiny nation of Andorra has two heads of state, each called a co-prince. Unlike San Marino, Andorra's co-princes come from outside the country. One comes from Spain, the other comes from France. These are not princes like the Liechtenstein and Monaco. The co-princes are appointed rather than hereditary positions, but this system derives from the ancient tradition of Andorra, once being controlled jointly as a condominium by powers from either side of its territory. Nowadays, whomever is appointed the bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Miguel on the Spanish side of the border becomes one co-prince, and whomever is elected president of France becomes the other co-prince. They hold the titles of co-prince ex officio to their primary title. The powers of the co-princes are largely symbolic. Andorra has a parliament led by a prime minister actually from within Andorra. Andorra is one of only a few countries with more than one head of state, and the only country with two head of states that don't actually even come from within that country. Number 3. Switzerland Federal Council Switzerland is a mountainous central European country, home to numerous lakes, villages and the high peaks of the Alps. Its cities contain medieval quarters, 
with landmarks like Capitol Bend's Ziegloke Clock Tower and Lucent's Wooden Chapel Bridge. The county is also known for its ski resorts and hiking trails. Banking and finance are key industries, and Swiss watches and chocolates are well renowned. It is a federal republic composed of 26 cantons, with federal authorities based in Bern. The Federal Council constitutes the federal government, which directs the federal administration and serves as collective head of state. It is a college of body of seven members, elected for a four-year mandate by the Federal Assembly, which also exercises oversight over the council. The president of the confederation is elected by the assembly from among the seven members. Traditionally in rotation and for a one-year term, the president chairs the government and assumes representative functions. However, the president is a primus inter pairs with no additional powers and remains the head of a department within the administration. The federal constitution adopted in 1848 is a legal foundation of the modern federal states. A new Swiss constitution was adopted in 1999 but did not introduce notable changes to the federal structure. It allows basic and political rights of individuals and citizens' participation in the public affairs, divides the powers between the confederation and the cantons, and defines federal jurisdiction and authority. There are three main governing bodies in the federal level, the bicameral parliament legislative, the federal council executive, and the federal court judicial. Number 4. Sudan Sovereignty Council Sudan, officially the Republic of the Sudan, is a country in Northeast Africa. It is bordered by Egypt to the north, Libya to the northwest, Chad to the west, the Central African Republic to the southwest, South Sudan to the south, Ethiopia to the southeast, Eritrea to the east, and the Red Sea to the northeast. Sudan is another special case. Its current head of state is like Switzerland's, a collective body called the Sovereignty Council, composed of 11 people. Since Sudan's independence in 1956, the Sovereignty Council has ruled Sudan several times in its history. It was reinstated as head of state during a transitional period following the overthrow of the brutal dictator Omar al Bashir in 2019. The transitional period is scheduled to end in November 2022, where Sudan will be led by a president again. The politics of Sudan formally took place within the framework of a federal representative democratic republic until April 2019, when President Omar al Bashir's regime was overthrown in a military coup led by Vice President Ahmed Awad ibn Auf. As an initial step, he established the Transitional Military Council to manage the country's internal affairs. He also suspended the constitution and dissolved the bicameral parliament and national legislature with its National Assembly, Lower Chamber, and the Council of States, Upper Chamber. Ibn Auf, however, remained in office for only a single day and then resigned, with the leadership of the Transitional Military Council then being handed to Abdel Fattah al Buran. On 4th August 2019, a new constitutional declaration was signed between the representatives of the Transitional Military Council and the Forces of Freedom and Change, and on 21st August 2019, the Transitional Military Council was officially replaced as head of state by an 11-member sovereignty council and as head of government by a civilian prime minister. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do want to give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends and turn on post notifications so you don't scare to miss out on any of our subsequent videos.